Hello. My name is Keshwani. This K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare ourselves for the math portion of the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. The problem that I'm about to do is the one that you will find on page number 153. Page 153, today is our day number 47. I hope you've been watching these videos in their proper sequence because I started with uh, the very first page where the math problem appears and we've been doing every single math problem that, that, that we see there. Yesterday, we did this problem that you see in front of you there, problem number 11, having to do with garden. And if you watched that video, I explained to the, we did two problems there, as a matter of fact yesterday. One was the easy question. The one that you see in front of you is classified as a medium question. And yesterday I told you that today we will do a very similar question that appeared in one of the old exams, which was considered a hard question because only 36%, only 36% of the people got it right. And here is the question in front of you. This question that we are about to do is the one that appeared on page 204, page 204 of this book, practicing to take the GRE, the 10th edition, which is based on the old version of the GRE. Now, even though it's the old version, the multiple choice questions have not changed and neither have the quantitative comparison questions. They only introduced two new types of questions and that's all there is, there is uh, in terms of the material that is different. Not the scale and so forth, I'm not talking about anything else, but uh, I'm talking about the material. So if you need to practice, if you want to practice more multiple choice questions for the GRE, this is the book here. You can find it probably anywhere on the eBay, uh, uh, I didn't mean to say that, I, I meant to say internet. Uh, you can find it anywhere on the internet, uh, on Amazon, on eBay, anywhere you like. Uh, you, can look, you can look for it. It's the 10th edition. Uh, here's the question. So we have a rectangular garden, which is x feet by y feet, right here. A rectangular garden, which is x feet by y feet. It is surrounded by a walkway which is two feet wide. A walkway is two feet wide. From here to here is two feet. From here to here is two feet. Everywhere it is surrounded by a walkway which is two feet wide. Question simply is what's the area of the walkway? That's all. It's very simple. Very similar, very similar to the question that we did yesterday. There is no difference. The only difference is that in the yesterday's question, the reason why it was classified as a medium question is because we were dealing with concrete numbers. They had given you dimensions 12 by 18. Here, instead of giving you dimensions 12 by 18, they have variable x and y, but the concept does not change. It's the same exact concept. What I want you to do right now is to pause the video, do the problem yourself, and once you have the answer, I want you to resume the video and compare your work with the work that we'll do together. Okay? Erase this feet because I just walked through everywhere else. So one more time, we have a border which is two feet wide all the way around. All the way around we have we have a two feet wide border from here to here is x feet, from here to here is y feet and so forth. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to pause and unpause the video and then I'll do the problem here. Now hopefully, hopefully you did do as I told you to do, which is to solve the problem yourself and you have the answer. Now one more time, here's, the, here's how we're going to play the game. The correct answer for this question is D. If you did not get the correct answer, if you did not get D, if you have some other letter, I want you to pause the video one more time. And now that you know what the correct answer is, try it one more time, see if you can catch your mistake before you can continue watching the video. You will learn hell of a lot more by doing it yourself, even if you get it wrong and even if you have some trouble, than watching somebody else solve the problem. That's what it is. The math is a skill. And the skill is something 
that one acquires by doing something, doing it by themselves. There we go. Let's give this uh, some of these points names so I can talk about them. Let's let's call this thing this let's let's call this point A. Uh, let's call this thing B. Let's call this thing right here C and D. So we we will try to figure out the area of A, B, C, D, this rectangle bottom one. How much is A to D? A to D. A to D. Well, we know that from here to here we are told it is x feet. We know that from here to here is 2 feet. We also know that from here to here is 2 feet. So B to C, B to C or A to D is simply 2 plus x plus 2. 2 plus x plus 2. Now we need to figure out the length of AB. How much is AB? AB is very simple. A to B is just 2. A to B is just 2. That's the, that's, the, that's, the, that's the width of the walkway. So the area of the rectangle ABCD, therefore, the area of the rectangle ABCD equals 2 times x plus 4 x plus 4 we'll, we'll, we'll leave it alone okay 2 times x plus 4 x plus 2 plus 2 is x plus 4 I need the room I need a lot of room so I'm going to have to erase the top part one more time before I erase it it appeared on page number 204 of the 10th edition that I showed you 36% just tells you what percentile got it right rectangular garden which is x feet by y feet surrounded by two feet long, two feet wide uh, walkway. The word surrounded, I think, is not spelled correctly, but don't worry about that. What's the area of the walkway? Now, let's find out, right, right here. Let's call it, let's call this point P. Let's call this point Q. R and this point which we had few which we had previously called C let's call it S P Q R S let's find out the area of that part R to S R to S R to S well that's very easy that's Y feet R to S is Y feet right here we are told that R to S it's just y feet from here to here. How much is P to, S, P to S? P to S is 2 feet. Well, this is very simple actually. Oh, this is actually much easier than before. That's it, we are done. So the area, so the area is 2 times y. The area of P, Q, R, S. P, Q, R, S. We are almost done. That's it. Now what you have to understand the last part, what we have to understand the last part, this is getting very crowded, so I'm going to have to erase some of the stuff. Let's erase some of the stuff because it's too crowded. You see this rectangle that we see here is the exact same rectangle as this one. We found out the area of one of them, which is 2 times y. We have one more like exactly like here. Similarly, the bottom part that we calculate is ABCD, the area of, of the rectangle ABCD, which is this part right here. Well, we have one more on the top. So the final answer, final answer, the area of the walkway is simply this quantity plus that quantity times 2. That's all, we're done. That's it. Area of the walkway. Area of the walkway. Is two times this quantity and that quantity. Two times x plus four plus two times y. This is where things get. This is where things get prickly, don't they? This is where things get prickly. That's it. 
I'm going to erase everything. I already told you what the answer is, so we know the answer is this part. I'm going to erase everything else, the bottom part here, so that we can we can continue this part here. E is gone. C is gone. We don't need any of this. Let's see what this works out to be. Two times. Let's take care of this part. Two times x, which is two x, plus two times four, which is eight. 2 times y. Now open the parentheses one more time. 2 times 2 times x is 2 times 2x is 4x. That's what I meant to say. 2 times 8 is 16. And 2 times y is 4y. Voila. That's it. Now the question is will you be able to do something like this in a matter of a couple of minutes or less than a couple of minutes as a matter of fact that's where uh, that's where the that's where the a million dollar question lies you understand? Uh, let me see if I can make one quick digression before I end the video an expression comes to my mind which whenever you find hesitation on my in my in my sentence what I'm doing there is actually editing my sentence because I don't want to turn this math video into the whole thing being the vocabulary video, do you understand? The expression is winnow out. We have not learned it. What do you know? I have not covered it in my vocabulary videos. Why don't you open the dictionary and learn it yourself? What does it mean to winnow out? That's, when the, that's where the winnow out, the the chaff from the wheat and you'll understand what I just meant this as esoteric statement once you learn this thing okay anyway I'll see you tomorrow I will see you tomorrow on day number 48 all right bye now